The project is called A Drawing a Day Keeps the Pandemic Away. We created it on March 17th, which was the day when we realised that we weren't going to be able to go back into the museum and continue installing the exhibitions we had been planning to open on March 27th. People were asking us what we, as an art museum, were going to do to reach out to the community during the pandemic shutdown, and honestly, we were wondering that ourselves. So we had an online brainstorming session and came up with the idea of posting a daily drawing prompt on Instagram. Anyone who wanted could respond to the prompt by posting a drawing and tagging us. Then we would add their drawing to our story feed and our highlights, so there would be a growing record of everything we'd received. At the end of the project, we would turn the submissions into a catalogue. Drawing a day keeps the pandemic away is not only something that gives people a connection to the arts community during the shutdown, it's also going to become a historical archive. It took us less than 24 hours to come up with our list of prompts. By the next day, our graphic designer Chloe Bernardo had created our title image and we were able to begin. Every day since then, we've posted one of her prompt illustrations followed by a response from an artist. That's our first drawing of the day. After that, we wait to see what else people send us. So far, we've received more than 500 artworks, most of them local, or at least from the United States. But we've also had submissions from Australia and Turkey, and of course that makes us very curious. How did they hear about us, and what was it about this project that made them want to join in? Anyone with access to Instagram can participate. We don't judge the drawings. We hope that the regularity of our prompts creates a sense of grounding in the middle of the very tense and mysterious situation that we're all in. If anyone wants to use our prompts to touch on some of the complicated feelings they're having right now, then we hope they do that. We also appreciate it when we can see people are enjoying themselves. We notice when the same people send us pictures every day, and even though we don't know most of them personally, it's nice to be able to follow their careers as pandemic drawing artists, with the same kind of attention we would use if we were following the career of any of the artists we work with at the museum. Some of those exhibition artists have submitted drawings too. Sue Havens, for example, an artist who's going to be creating new work for a show in our workshop gallery in the future, sent us two drawings for the self-portrait prompt a few weeks ago. We've had people tell us that the project is therapeutic, it's comforting, it creates a kind of normalcy. And right now, those are the kinds of reactions we were hoping for.